This is a follow-up video to my previous video in regards to the quirkiness of the Buchla Music Easel's Pulsar. I mentioned in that video that I would also um, post a, a future video going over some of the details of the envelope generator and how it had some similar functionality in trying to get it to self-cycle. So very briefly, I will go ahead and just demonstrate that now here, but the um, idea behind what we're doing is exactly the same as the information uh, that I demonstrated in the Pulsar video. So we will see here that I will go ahead and um, we have the envelope generator set to keyboard and set to transient. So I'll go ahead and hit a note on the 218 keyboard and we do get a single fire of the envelope generator with a very short attack and decay and no sustain. So, like with the Pulsar, you'd think, well, let's go ahead and put it into self. But we get nothing. Now I can go back to transient. Fire from the keyboard like this. But we try to go to self, and we get nothing. So similar to the Pulsar, what we can do here to kind of jumpstart the envelope generator into self-cycling mode is to go ahead and give it a long decay so that when we hit the keyboard, we still have voltage staying lit. We'll go ahead and give it a longer decay, similar to the Pulsar's long decay. Now, we will go ahead and quickly put it into self. And we'll see we have a self-cycling envelope. So hopefully that helps. I know when I first got my easel with both the Pulsar and the envelope generator, I thought something was broken. I didn't quite understand it. it took me a day or so of figuring it out and a little bit of internet searching to find those details. Uh, but hopefully that saves some of you some time and some internet digging and you can get, uh, get right started having fun with your easels. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.